to another video on section. What are you saying? We're back. Get, get. Right, so the plan is today to go pick up the panels for the 330. Um, we've got a guy who hooked us up uh, from the Tamil Car Freaks um, in Milton Keynes. So basically, I'm going to be getting the front M Sport bumper, uh, the front right arch, and uh, the bonnet. But yeah, we're going to tow the car today as well to another location so we can work on it because the, the initial plan was to film the frame being pulled. Um, where we filmed the first video, but obviously it's raining, so um, we've got another garage location that we can take the car to. Today we're gonna try pull the frame. We went uh, to B and Q and bought a 60-inch wrecking bar. Um, M4 soon landing it, because <laughs> that's the only only actual possible way that I can see of pulling the actual um, the frame where the the uh, radiator support is supposed to go onto. Um, yeah, we'll probably have to hammer out the rest of it, the actual plate that bolts onto heads. Uh, if the frame does manage to get pulled, because I've got some canisters for to heat it up, uh, some Bunsen burner or whatever. Bunsen burner, you know. Bro, that's from high school, that's all I remember from high school, bro. Them fucking, um, we used to heat up the flasks and that. Because I tried to heat it up last time and that was shit, it's not working. That thing is reinforced as shit, man. Yeah, but I reckon that 60 inch bar will pull some of it out. As long as I get the, the inside bit pulled, the rest, the actual plate that the um, the radiator support bolts onto, that bit, I can hammer that out. But yeah, that's the main main focus for today. Um, also, we're gonna try find the radiator and fan, uh, just all in one kit, just to see if that will fix. Um, I've also got a whole bunch of other stuff to order. For it, like the cooling system, I need to change the. Um, I think it's steering pump uh, pulley, which is the bottom right hand side one, uh, the big pulley at the bottom. And um, yeah, after that, I've got a new belt already. But yeah, that's the, that's the general plan for today. Should be good. Should be good. Obviously, you got my power here. <laughs> that Russian power to, to pull that frame should be <laughs> light work. We got this guy. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna have to use Basha's body weight if anything. My body weight? I weigh like 50 kilograms, bro. Uh, every every gram helps. Every gram matters. <laughs> we'll get Siv we'll, we'll get Siv to run this in the bar. <laughs> yeah, basically, uh, this M4 is amazing. But I missed the 330. When that 330 is back, boy. But basically, the project, my my main project is to get the 330 back on back on the road, literally mint it out. That's why I've even ordered that came yesterday a steam a steam clean out. Essentially, I wanted to, to um, steam clean the engine, get all the grime off it, because since since it was new, I think whoever poured the oil or whatever, I think it's had a few oil leaks in the past, and that shit's not been cleaned cleaned off, and literally it's a thick, gunky layer of oil and, and dirt everywhere. So I was going to try steam clean that off. Sponsor us, please. I live on Red Bull. The editors at section live on Red Bull. Yeah. All those hours, all those hours going into the content, the shooting, the builds, this, that. Beautiful. All supported by Red Bull. Use this gun code, the section at checkout for 10% off at Red Bull. Bull, please sponsor us. We love drinking your stuff. It gives me absolute energy. <laughs> Forget Pro Plus and all that. Red Bull's the one. <laughs> <laughs> the car to another location where we're going to pull the frame because uh, obviously the weather was raining so another location we're going to work on the car I might need one of you guys to jump on it and just hold the fucking arch up for like yeah just this side I just need someone to hold the arch up so I can put So guys, we have found the radiator and 
What is it? The fan? Uh, radiator and fan, hopefully. Yeah. We're just about to go pick it up now. Um, it's right next to where we were going originally anyways to get the van. Yeah. So we'll update you when we find the parts. That's fucking nuts, man. Check with DVLA, everything. Yeah? It's not even 7,000, it's 6,800 and... Jesus. Basically mint condition. Check with both by everything. No. Yeah. It only had three MOT. No. Yeah. Basically brand new. <laughs> yeah, you can tell. I don't even have to open it, you can tell from here. Yeah, cool. Okay. Thanks, man. <laughs> Where are we going now, Tom? Fucking no, I'm <laughs> Damn, bro. I feel like I'm smoking. Hey, 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 It's away. Auto is still driving like a freak. Ah, <laughs> this, 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 okay. this is what is this? Japanese, isn't it? Yeah. JDM. JDM. <laughs> Shout out to Prash from Tamil Car Freaks for hooking me up with all the body parts for my car. Um, I'm gonna leave his his and uh, Tamil Car Freaks Instagram uh, on screen or in the description below. Uh, but yeah, thanks a lot Cheers, for that, man. Well, Make sure you guys great. check him out on Insta. Follow him. If you guys need any car parts for E36s, E46s, he's the man. We're going back to ends. We're going back to ends. We grabbed all the parts. Um, we need to go drop the parts at the first, so we're dropping the parts at my house and then we're going to drop the van back where we got it from. Then we need to go to Pinna to grab the tools and then we need to go back to my house. Right guys, so we're back at the garage now. Uh, we've got all the body panels. We went to my house to pick up all the tools and stuff. So we're ready to crack on, remove the um, radiator support and start pulling the frame. Sick. So what's the first thing we need to do to get the radiator support off? Right, first we need to remove the radiator support uh, by removing these three nuts, those three nuts. Okay. Two nuts, bolts two here. Two nuts on the top. And two bolts here. Okay. And that should pull it off. Everything else has been disconnected previously for when mm -hmm. we took it off, so it's just... Uh, so that's just 10 bolts. All right guys, um, today's a new day. Uh, the last time we were working on the car, we ended up staying till 3 a.m. We did manage to get uh, most of the frame pulled. Yeah. We are happy with it, which which means that, you know, we, we can get it pulled properly. It's just a little bit of tweaks here and there. Uh, so today we're gonna be removing a few other parts of the car. We're gonna try and get the bonnet on. We're gonna try and remove the wing and put the, uh, the new wing on. Yeah. Uh, remove a few of a bit to do a bit of steam cleaning, try clean up what we can uh, on the outside of the engine mm -hmm. um, before we start putting everything back. But yeah, the main aim today is to get the um, to bond and maybe align the bonnet, get to see how the bumper fits, um, pull pull that that side of the arch yep. um, because that one's bent in. Uh, otherwise, the bumper won't align and the the wing won't align either. So we're gonna have to do a bit of work on that as well. Um, let's begin. <laughs>
Right guys, yeah, so we tried switching the car on, it switched on, which is a, it's a good sign now. Um, I'm really happy with that. Uh, we managed to finish pulling the frame today, uh, put all the parts back on the bumper, the wing, the bonnet, aligned everything, it seems to be fitting quite alright, um, which is also good. Uh, now all that's left is to get the radiator pack, uh, the fan, all the cooling system parts, the expansion tank, the... Um, all the hoses and stuff um, fit that on. Uh, we're gonna go see a guy um, about those parts to get all the radiator pack, all that stuff off him and the pulley as well. And uh, yeah, from there, he's just gonna be fitting those parts back on. Uh, once all those parts are back in, we're gonna do the final touches to the alignment of the body panels. And yeah, then it should be fine. Also, I need to get another battery as well. My battery was blown. <laughs> The positive connection when the when the car collided, the battery must have slid, and the cable bent the the positive terminal and it burnt out. So, gonna need a new battery as well. As always, guys, thank you again for watching uh, this episode of the 330 Ci rebuild. Thank you guys for watching. As always, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. This has been Auto. I've been Bash. We got Sid behind the camera right now. We had Ryu helping. We got Trisha behind the camera as well. Um, if you haven't already, make sure to follow us all on Instagram. I'll be dropping all of the tags up on screen right now. If you're not subscribed, make sure you're subscribed. If you are subscribed, make sure to hit the bell notification so you're notified about all of our new videos. And we hope to see you guys in our next video. Peace.